Hello YouTube, it's your boy D giving you this week's episode season premiere of Queen Sugar Episode 1 Season 3 came out yesterday. I get a chance to review, but man, I am pumped. If y'all know, if you don't know, folks, I am a fan of Queen Sugar. It's one of my mainstays of the of the show. It's one of my favorite shows ever. Oprah hit another one. It's not just talking about black issues. It's talking about issues in America. We have the issues that we all can relate to. And take something in it. The writing is just excellent. The storytelling is excellent. The character the development is over. It's, it's awesome. If you have not, not know by now. That's your boy D. I will not apologize. I will not say I'm sorry. I will be... I'll say to your face, I am a fan of Queen Sugar. In fact, I even got the book on Queen Sugar because I love it. I love it. Love it. Whew. Whew. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please, come on, what are you waiting for? Be part of the tribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to right to see more of my videos and all that stuff. Comment on my videos. Like my videos and of course, like or dislike my videos, it doesn't matter, guys. Just watch my videos, that's all I care about. And of course, share the videos on any social media platforms. But got that out the way, y'all. Let's get into it. Charlie is running, jogging around the park. Don't know, you know, getting her feeling, getting her fit on, all that good stuff. And she's doing good. She's running around, doing great. And I was like, Charlie's back. She's running, doing great. And we kind of find out, we find out that Micah is, is you know, getting college recruiters coming to him. Because Charlie has mentioned to Micah, hey, look, we're getting, we're getting child, you know, getting child recruiters coming to him. And Micah said, yeah, you know, I'm ready for that year and a half. So he's basically getting offers from colleges. So, you, you know, you know, that is awesome. And we find out that uh, Davis is going to return home for the season for a couple of days. So I don't know what Davis is going to come back. He'll come back with a new boo. Because last time he's trying to get back with Charlie. He dumped his old boo trying to mess with Charlie. You know what I'm saying? You know, because Davis, last time, if y'all know what happened, to, you don't know what with Davis' situation with Charlie. Davis had it's been, he cheated with Charlie, you know, during the time. You know, it was caught on tape that he cheated with Charlie. You know, if you don't know that, I'll you can watch my reviews on it. You know, anyway, let's get out. I'm not gonna waste too much time on that right there, right there. Won't put that to the side. <laughs> so, anyway, you know, Charlie says, Okay, cool. In fact, you know, and Michael's, you know, he's excited to see his dad. Then, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do scene by scene. I'm gonna do a. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm not gonna do scene by scene. I'm doing characters. So we're gonna do. In fact, we'll start with Charlie. We also found out that Charlie, in the last season, has made a deal with the Boudreau Boudreaux assassin Landry. So she's basically giving up her Queen Sugar meal to them, right? So. Basically, Sam Landry and Jacob and Charlie at at their office, right? And uh, and Jacob's kind of thing for Charlie, you know what I'm saying? He wants some that, you know, he's a vanilla and he wants some that brown sugar, you know what I'm saying? Because vanilla's kind of boring, you know what I'm saying? Vanilla's boring, vanilla's nice, but she needs some that brown sugar to mix it in. And he likes some that brown sugar. Look at that Charlie, mm, he needs some brown sugar in his life, so he, you know, you want some of that brown goodness? I'm gonna leave that there because I ain't want, I ain't trying to have YouTube block my videos, y'all. So anyway, Sam Landry tells Jacob, "Get on your business, go on, go on, leave, leave it alone." And Jacob feel kind of some type of way about it. If you see, so he looking like looking at like his uncle. I think that's his uncle. Like, you know, what you doing, uncle? I, I'm trying to get some of that. 
some brown sugar goodness you blocking me and uncle guy uh, school the mark in the mouse he leaves and child thinking that maybe you know Sam and Angie kind of was peeping game and power power kind of shut the shut the deal down the deal down and they just like nah we're gonna shut the deal down in fact we're gonna I'm, we're gonna continue the deal and Sam and Angie says hey look I see what your lawyers did put a little one percent in there and Charlie said yeah you know it just you know it just want I just want a little one percent of your company I just, just want to get one percent that's all. That's the least you can do. And he said, "Yeah, you rock. At least I could do that." And basically, he's getting no professional saying, you know, your daddy would have been proud. You would clean shit, make us look good. He's giving me like that creepy uncle perverted kind of rapist kind of vibe. And Chuck kind of feels, it. you know, but Chuck got that gang, got that cold, cold, calculated ma face. Kind of like she's like the female godfather. I'm gonna say she's the female godfather because she's looking like she a female godfather. She cold, calm, cool, collected, and she looking at that. Oh, I wish she would because I'm gonna blank you up. Kind of like that look. If I, if you look at her eyes, her eyes was deadly. Ooh, look at Charlie's eyes. He look like she gonna murder the man in cold blood. I was like trying. She ruthless. She is, ooh, ooh. Charlie is just my favorite character. Right well, there with Nova, but she's my favorite character right now. She's just cold blooded. She don't play no games, and she, t in fact, she even tells Ra. Ra asks her like, if it, did you, you know, did you everything straight with with the Landry's? Charlie said, yeah, everything's cool. But don't worry, once I'm in there, I'm gonna blank up their plans. You in there? They gonna see we the the poor Joe's events with they they mess with the wrong ones. I'm gonna blank them up in the inside out. I'm gonna mess up their operations. Our people won't be successful. We're gonna get ahead, this and that. Because and I, and, and Ralph Ralph H could feel that Charlie's words were true. Because he could feel that presence, that energy around her. Like she carries the energy of confidence on Lewis because she's calculated in a good way. When it's not off balance, this is the child you want to see that 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 is about empowering the people, and she gonna do whatever it takes to take that Landry. And if I'm Landry and Jacob, you better change your underwear. You better go, cause she she ain't playing. She ain't playing with you. And that's you can see that throughout the whole episode that she's just cold blooded. Her eyes are focused, straight, purposeful, driven, determined. I could go on and on, but we ain't got time for all that. We ain't got time for all that. And as we go along, we kind of see Charlie's situation again. And this is where she was at the basketball game. And doing to get some food, she sees the officer. The, the officer that basically, you know, put the trigger, put the, gu put the gun in on the son's mouth, Michael, and he, she sees the officer. He could, she could see that she wanted to say something to the officer. During this time, she wanted to, you know, say, "Hey." She wanted. To, you could tell she wanted to act up. You could tell she wanted to say something. She wanted to probably choke him, sash, tell him off, read him his right, give him the tea, whatever. But he sees he has a grandson, and she had to, for a moment, for a moment, get it together. And be the Charlie you know to be calm, cool, collective. And that's sort of like how we are. How people are in life. And I can speak to that. You want to go off for somebody. You want to be that person. And you get mistreated work. But you still got to smile. Say, how are you doing today, sir? Welcome to McDonald's. Welcome to whatever. You hey, welcome to the post office. How would you like to? You know what? You want to know that first class? I got you. Even though you. Co-workers talking, talking ish. The boss is ish. Everybody's disrespect you, but you gotta put on the smile and and the smile about it. Go about your business, even though you torn up inside out, and be like, and be the bigger person. You know, get over it. And baby, I ain't just and you ain't got over it because 
you ain't even healed. It's still fresh and cut, but you ain't got time to process. You just gotta put on the cape, put on the pants, put on, and get, and, and Charlie has to play two roles of that. And you can see that she really, you know, had to be the bigger person now in that situation. And now during this game, Charlie saw Remy. Remy saw Charlie. They, they clearly lose contact. And Remy kind of just looks the other way. Because during that time, you know, and this is the interaction again, they were at the bar. Right? They at the bar. And Remy see Charlie. And our Bob saw that they saw each other and basically told, you know, Hollywood, hey, get get Remy over here. We family. And Charles says, uh-uh, I'll, I'll do it. Let me get up there. He, he, she trying to talk to Remy and say, hey, look, ain't nothing got to be between us. Come on through. Come to family. You like family. Come on. And Remy, he in his feelings. He's salty. Salty like, like salt. In fact, he's so salty that he going to have high blood pressure. You understand me? And he was like, no. I I like them, Charlie, and I appreciate it. But now, <coughs> she got eggs on her face, scrambled little eggs, put some onions and cheese on it. She just got scrambled. But it's okay, Charlie. You won't get Remy. Remy gonna understand, he gonna be on your team. I'm I'm I feeling that in my face. I feel it right there. I feel it right there. As Remy leaves, you know. You know, Jacob talks to Charlie and talking about, <laughs> you know, what we did could be nasty referring to the deal, you know, you know, getting kind of fresh with Charlie, trying to get some, get some like Charlie's goodness. And Charlie see game, you see women looking and Charlie shut it down like, boy, bye. Has little seats. I ain't, I ain't the one. I ain't one of the chicks you're going to run up upon me. I'm not the lady. I'm Charlie. I'm business. You're going to respect me okay but I would say this I predict in the next few episodes that he might they might do the deed and when they do the deed when we gonna get feel some type of way those type of je jealousy because you sleeping with the enemy now you're not only working with the enemy you having relations with the enemy that's my predictions on the, in a couple of episodes down the line right now we gonna talk to, and and then Pastor tells Pastor tells Charlie that uh, he has back surgery that he may not be able to help the you know do the farm without Angel, and Charlie says you know well Angel gonna do well he has his own meal normal gonna take care of it he gonna be all right, and we also see that Charlie's kind of worried for Michael. For Micah, he wants she wants him back at at midnight. In fact, Micah didn't come back at midnight. Came back at twelve thirty, and Charlie says, "What's going on? Why he came come back at twelve thirty? Micah says, "Well, you know this and that. You know I have things to do. It is what it is." Getting kind of fish talking about things happen, mom. You just gonna get over. And Charlie gave him like, "Boy, I wish you said that again. I wish you would <laughs> keep backing up." That's the vibe I'm getting. And um, that was the whole scene. So that was pretty much the scene for Charlie. Now we're going to go into Ralph Angel. Which is, if you know, if you have watched all my other episodes, reviews for Ralph Angel, I have been very hard on Ralph Angel. I have telling him that he needs to grow up. I have said that he needs to get his life together. And I have been very critical of Ralph Angel. I can admit it. I am guilty of charge. But in the season right now, I saw growth there. And this first episode, you can see growth and struggles for Val Angel. What I mean struggles, he struggled with the fact that Dollar has said that Blue ain't, that Blue cannot may not be his. And that he took it so hard that he basically broke off the wedding with, with, with uh, Dollar. And which led to... Blue acting now. In fact, Blue has not been the Blue that you know. Blue has not been the Blue that talks about, I want to have Kenya with me. And Kenya is my girl. And Kenya, in fact, there was no Kenya in this episode. He dumped Kenya 
Blue is that the person. In fact, Blue has been acting up towards Ralph Angel. Everywhere he has been acting up towards Ralph Angel, not doing what he's supposed to do, not getting dressed on time. He getting fights everywhere, fist fight, punching, beat, boom, boom, knocking these things. He's not holding Ralph Angel's hand. He's been arguing. He's been challenging Ralph Angel in every direction, every step of the way. He has been challenging Ralph Angel and his authority because he had missed his mama. In fact, during the time he had been asking Ralph Angel, where's my mama? Where's the, where's my mama? He be, she fixed me sandwiches. You gave me lunchables. Where's my mama? What's going on? Where's mama? Where's mama? And Ralph Angel kind of keep pulling it off saying, Gone, gone, hurry, 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 keep moving, just, just keep pushing and dodging. And, and Blue is just like, I'm not dodging this. Dad, what's going on? It's like, Blue is not stupid. Blue is getting smarter. He's getting older. He's getting wiser. Right? He is not the same person. And Ralph is just frustrated because he does not really know how to disobey. Because he has this, he's... Working out so many issues with himself with a, with a blue agent if blue is his he's working with himself to see Can he be the man? That he has always Has the potential to be the man he is Can he really be the man not only take care of blue? His son, but can he be the man to be provide a legacy for his son? Can he be the man to run the business and not look like he's dependent on his sister. Can he be the man that others say he cannot be because his criminal past? There was so many stuff that Ralph Asia still struggles with that I feel for the man. But this is this first opening scene you kind of see him kind of kind of struggling even during the time when the, you know, Va, when Harley was talking about the wedding with Va, Va, with Aunt Va, Va, at least you feel some type of way because that could have been him marrying though. That could have been him having, maybe not having an Italian wedding, maybe not having the best wedding, but he would have a decent wedding. But he can't even have that because of what happened. And he feels like he's always left out. You can see that. He ain't even seen his old demons. Timika is an old girl that kind of wants to be without, wants to be without Angel, trying to get into Ralph Angel's pockets, trying to see if you get a piece of Ralph Angel. And Ralph Angel swatted her off, like <laughs> deny her, like like how LeBron blocked Steph Curry shot two seasons ago. It was 2016. Watch the game when LeBron denied Steph Curry shot, blocked her, swatted it down. That's what he's doing to Tamika. And basically saying, baby, I ain't got time for you trying to go on with your business. I'm done. She's trying to get something because now Dora's out. Trying to claw her way into Ralph Angel's heart. Trying to get something. And Ralph just like, get out of here with that. Shot right there. That. Is that on my page? In fact, and like I said, lose me. And then, and then doing the hospital scene, when they get the results, you now his sisters are there. And when when he opens that paper and reads the results and says, and the reaction is, ain't nothing changed, ain't nothing changed, ain't nothing changed. You can see the sadness and the heaviness on his heart to know that. Blue is not biologically his. Blue is not his. It doesn't say, but you can see the reaction. You can see the sadness. And I'm glad his sisters just say, baby, we're going to hold him. Rock, be the rock. Because Rock Ranger now needs support. Not just financial support, but he needs support of his family. Because he's in a broken place. And they need, they're all in a broken place. But Rock Ranger is like the baby of the broken place. You understand? And needs encouragement. Now we're going to talk to Nova. Nova in this situation is probably the most happiest person right now on the scene. Because well, because Nova is getting a book deal, y'all. She's getting a book deal. Absolutely, she's getting a book deal. 
there's evidence that you, you can give you a book deal in New York. You don't need to leave your grassroots behind. Maybe you can move on. You, we can take it to the next level. Leave your stuff you, up to the next level. We could do this. And there was a lady who kind of looks, was looking at, at Nova like a piece of meat. Like how Chotel wouldn't be that. She wouldn't be the white Chotel. And you can see it for quick seconds that he, she kind of looking at Nova like a piece of meat. I'm just saying, it almost had a Robert Dubois type of vibe. Because Robert Dubois had said the same thing in so many ways, saying, you you good, baby. You good. You got the goodness. You have greatness in you. Baby, believe what you have behind. I could take you to a next level kind of business. I could take you to the next level, baby. You, you're doing grassroots, but baby, take you to the next level. And for a moment, you can see Nova kind of looking like, like, that's great, but I don't want to forget who I am. I, I, I want to, I want to be who I am. This is what brought me to the dance. I can't just leave that other side. Yeah, it's a great opportunity, but what I can get myself in the process and Charlie had to remind Nova, but baby, be who you are. Stand in your truth. Don't ever forget you. Whatever you decide, always be you. Be you. I think she got inspired. During this game, the St. Joseph's game, you see the kids were kneeling down. Young kids were kneeling down, protesting. And I think for a moment, it kind of spoke, kind of spoke, Nova you know, saying, I can't just, kind of male say, can I just leave New Orleans? This is the new, I got to be there to see what's going on. And, and in fact, you see, you see old Nova, the activist, basically in the bar, in one of the old times, talks, he's saying, you know, the kids don't need to, do this, the kids don't need to do that, they don't need to be, you know, they need to just watch the game and shut, the, shut up and when you watch the game, no one had to come in and correct them and say, baby, you ain't gonna want to talk like that and shut it down quick. <laughs> so I'm glad to see this Nova that we see. I feel like Robert Dubai should be a return. He gonna make a return, y'all. What's y'all think? You think Robert Dubai gonna make a return, y'all? I believe he will. I do believe he's well. Actually, what else I'm missing? Um, I'm vibe, yes. I'm vibe in Hollywood, the relationship. Yes, I'm missing. I'm vibe in Hollywood. I'm vibe. We found out he, she got lupus. And we also found out that, you know, Hollywood's going to get some money from this uh, settlement. So, you know, doing that settlement, he's been going to Italy, spoiling his woman, spoiling the woman, getting to Italy, going oh, in me out. You know, he's lavishing up. You know, he looks like a kid in the king's store. And Charlie was like telling, you know, how would Charlie be in the plan that she is says, Are you going to plan your money? Are you going to invest? Are you going to do it in real estate? Which is all good advice. What he should do with the money, invest some, but keep some, make, make money work for you. Don't spend it all out and be broke. But Howard was like, Girl, have several seats. This ain't about you. I ain't need your legal advice. Let me do me kind of speech. <laughs> And he's he's she talk he talking about when we're gonna do this and that and I'm about looking like boy so now let me just relax and enjoy myself and every time you know Hollywood wants to protect on five like she she sees he sees on five as like his ex-wife want to do everything protect her do everything kind of hold her hand and on five was like mm -mm. and I think I love the line she says don't have to treat me like a pedestal Hollywood. You gotta put me on the puzzle, baby. I ain't got, I ain't gonna break. I got wings like you, meaning that, yeah, I'm going to lupus. Yeah, I have a lot of things going on, but baby, you ain't got to treat me like a, I know you want to protect me, and I was, and I was really wonderful that how you want to protect her. But I'm I was like, baby, you ain't got to treat me no pets. I can still move. I, you know, I may got lupus, but lupus ain't gonna beat me, kind of speech. I, I, I can still, I can still function. I, I can walk. I can run. I can breathe. I can do all this right here. I ain't gonna be broken. This thing ain't gonna break me. I'm on vibe. I'm on vibe right here. So, and that was pretty much the the uh, um the episode. This is pretty much what's this. This is the first season. And if this is what I think of this first season, the third season is gonna be like. I'm on board. I got my ticket ready. Punch me in. We're going for a ride. Because right now, I'm hyped up. 
choked up, geeked up, lit up, whatever term you want to say, I'm lit, lit up for this show right here. So, I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to keep watching it. It's one of my favorite shows. So, anyway, guys, again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. After you watch this review, you need to hit the subscribe button. It's right there. Hit the red button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit hit the bell to the right to see more of my videos. Like my videos. And of course, share my videos. Anyway, this is your boy, D. Have a good night, y'all. I'm out. Holla.